in this video i am going to discuss the features of a monopoly market and revenue of a monopolist a firm is a monopoly if it is the only producer or seller of its product and if its product does not have any close uh, subsidies so if we take these two characteristics the first characteristics of the of a monopoly is single producer there is only one producer in the market which is producing or selling the commodity this means that there is no distinction between firm and industry and hence this firm this single producer is price maker and not price taker second is no close subsidies there are no other firms in the market which are selling the uh, close substitutes to the consumers and therefore the producer the demand curve that this producer faces is downward sloping and the elasticity of demand is between 0 and 1 which is uh, the the demand is highly inelastic because consumers do not have any other option in the market so if there is, there is no close uh, substitute in the market the elasticity of demand is between 0 and 1 that is in elastic demand so because of this two or because of these two causes the monopoly arises according to george mankiw the fundamental cause of a monopoly is the barriers to uh, entry so no free entry for other firms to enter the market that there, there are barriers so other firms cannot enter the market without uh, any prior or without any permission from the government or from the higher authority now why this that there are barriers to the entry so there are three reasons for uh, this barrier one is monopoly resources a firm have the monopoly over the resources which are used in the production of the commodity and that is why that creates the monopoly of the firm in the entire market second is government created monopoly for example in amdavad only torrent power provides the electricity to the uh, citizens so in that case this restriction or this a uh, barrier is created by the government and that is why torrent power has the monopoly to provide the electricity to the citizens and third natural monopoly because of economies of scale in this case it is better to provide or one firm has that kind of natural monopoly power that 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 uh, firm can produce the commodities at lower and lower cost so if one other firm enters the market the cost will increase so it is better not to uh, give the market share to other firm because this firm the single firm can produce the commodity at lower cost because of economies of scale now these are the characteristics of uh, monopoly market another characteristic is price discrimination a 
monopolist can charge different prices of the same same output or same product in two different markets whereas in perfect competition that is not possible because price is determined by the uh, market and firms accept the price so in that case firms are price taker and not price makers but here there is only single firm so this firm can charge different prices in different markets now these are the characteristics of uh, or features of monopoly now i am going to discuss the revenue of a monopoly so suppose quantity of x price we know that price and average revenue is same total revenue and marginal revenue <coughs> so when the firm is producing one unit or when firm is selling one unit the price of the commodity is suppose 10 rupees now if this firm wants to increase the selling it has to decrease the price we must keep in mind that a monopolist cannot uh, determine the price and quantity simultaneously a monopolist can either determine the price or determine the quantity so if this monopolist wants to increase the uh, selling wants to increase the market share it has to reduce the price to sell the second commodity so suppose price decreases from 9 to 10 to 9 and 8 3 Now total revenue is price into quantity. So see, this is ten, eighty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty, twenty-eight, twenty-four, and marginal revenue is the change in total revenue. So here it is ten because when it is when there is no production there is no selling there is no total revenue so 18 minus 10 8 24 18 6 4 2 0 2 4 now if we observe average revenue and marginal revenue they both start from the same point and average revenue is always higher than the marginal revenue at any level of output so if we take suppose 3 average revenue is 8 marginal revenue is 6 if we take 5 average revenue is 6 marginal revenue is 2 and these two curves are downward sloping curves which means that as output increases the average revenue and marginal revenue decreases or as demand increases the average revenue and marginal revenue decreases so if we draw the diagram on x axis quantity of x is measured and average revenue and marginal revenue is measured on y axis so there are eight uh, units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight here it is 2 4 6 8 10 so first i am going 
going to draw average revenue curve. So when quantity is 1, average revenue is 10. Here, 2 average revenue is 9. Sloping and elasticity of demand is between 0 and 1. 